Hello, New Hope. Pastor Gary here. And I'd like just to spend a few minutes with you today talking about our walk of faith. I want to consider a few Bible characters today. These were all men of renown. These were all heroes. These were all the best of the best. And so I'm going to give you a list of uh, names of a few of them and just see what you think. Um, be, the list begins with a man by the name of Shamua, followed by Shaphat, then Igal, Paul Tai, Gadiel, Gada, Amiel, Sether, Nahbai, and Geul. Again, these are all men of renown, leaders all. These men had, had uh, tremendous insight into uh, the, the task and the job that God gave them to do. And so here we are um, looking at these men's lives. And, of course, these names, we use them every day in our communication, correct? When's the last time you had a, uh, heard a great sermon on Paul Tai or Igal or Shaphat? Maybe never, huh? So there they are, men of renown, all leaders. These men exercised impeccable reporting abilities concerning God's promise to his people. Their assessment of the situation that God gave them to do was spot on, right on the button, up to a point. You see, they were the 10 spies that came back with a bad report. By now, I'm sure you've figured that out. So these men came back from their spying out the land of Canaan, and they came back with all the right things up to a point. They said, you know what? It's exactly like God said. It is a land that flows with milk and honey. It is a land that's beyond expectation. It is a land that has a plenty. There are beautiful fields. There's water supply everywhere. Again, a land flowing with milk and honey, just like God promised. However, they said, um, we have a problem. The people that live in the land are strong people. They all live in walled cities, and it will be impossible for us to take them and to knock them down. They perceived that in comparison to the Canaanites that lived in the land, uh, they were just small. They were insects, Miriam insects, grasshoppers in the sight of the Anakin, the giants that lived in the land. So walled cities, strong beyond anything we can imagine. And uh, these men came back with what the Bible calls an evil report. Instantly, when they reported, Joshua and Caleb attempted their best. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, it's like that. It's, it's all of the things that they said. But we are well able to go up and take the country. We are well able, with God on our side, to go in and possess the land that God has promised for us to possess. So a big insurrection happened. And the children of Israel, by and large, decided they were going to appoint a new pastor. And the new pastor would take them back to Egypt, where there were all kinds of marvelous things to eat. Cucumbers and melons and, and all different kinds of things. Word of God, they said, it's better for us to die in Egypt than to die trying to take one of these walled cities. So they were all ready to turn around and return to Egypt. Well, there are always consequences to our actions. And the consequences for this faithless, spiritual, cowardly group was to do another turn around Mount Sinai to spend another nearly 40 years in the wilderness. And God said, because of your lack of faith, because of your lack of understanding, uh, your carcasses will fall in the wilderness and your children, 20 years of age and up, 
uh, will be able to enter into the promised land. So there are always results based on our actions. The writer of the book of Hebrews said that without faith it is impossible to uh, please God. He went on to say that that faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Joshua and Caleb exercised their faith. They said, with God on our side, we are well able to go up and take the country. If we do this in our own strength, then we, we will fail. But with God being for us, who can be against us? So today, if you are battling something, anything, I just want to uh, reach out to you and say, uh, with God's help, believe your beliefs. Doubt your doubts. Let God work through you and work through others. Let his spirit lead, guide, and direct. And let's learn as a church to follow the leading of the Lord and listen for his voice. And with that, let's be faith partners. Let's allow our faith to rise. Let's allow our God to arise and all of his enemies to be scattered. So with that, we say the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give to you his peace. Shalom in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Have an awesome day. God bless.